Alright, hello everybody, um, welcome back to this series of In-Depth Explained. Uh, in this series I'll be just explaining my video, explaining my bots, because a lot of you people, a lot of you guys seem to misunderstand how they work, and etc. So this series is purely based on me explaining how they work. So first off, we're gonna do hard plot. Let me just switch over to Minecraft. Alright, there it is. So, uh, for the harp pot, we're gonna have to go over to the harp. Right, there doesn't seem to be anybody on the harp. I haven't done the harp on this profile, so so we uh, click the thing. We open harp bot. We wait for the ad. So a tip for the ad is you mute the ad before it actually goes off, so that you don't actually hear it on the background. It really is annoying. But I need you, so you can't do shit. I need to find a good thumbnail for this. Okay, so we open the heart pot. We come over here, we have the things. So if I were to select the. Okay, wait, I should probably open the sounds. There we go. So. Currently, the heart. Uh, presses the buttons 100 milliseconds after they come down so most likely speaking it's going to be pressing way too soon so what you want to do is instead of 100 is too fast for you you're gonna go for the 200 so after all of these uh, you see your score at the bottom right So while I was doing that, I'll explain how the heart pot actually works. So the heart pot scans this area right here. If it finds a block right there, a clay block, no not clay but a wool block right here, it clicks on the block right here. So what the delays are is when you see a wool block right here, how much should you wait till you press this button? So 312 is a really specific delay, but it's just there because I want it. So the thing about Harpod is that you need to have a really, really um, specific amount of ping. Y your ping needs to not be fluctuating because the Harpod cannot um, change your delay on the fly. I mean, you can, but it's a bit harder. You're just gonna have to uh, try and uh, try and wait until you can find the thing. Also, the FPS drops. I know they're really freaking annoying for a lot of people. Uh, close, restarting the client usually helps a lot. God, I see what you mean. People need me. Okay. Right, the FPS drops, usually start restarting the client helps a lot. You just have to mess around with the delays until you uh, find the perfect delay for you. The client actually saves the delay so you don't have to set it each time. So yeah, that's how the hard bot works. It's a pretty simple bot in my opinion. It's not like legendary or anything, so yeah. That's that's it, that's as much there's. Alright, see ya guys.